Welcome back to Great Day. Excessive sweating can be an embarrassing condition. It was even immortalized in the classic film Broadcast News, where Aaron, played by Albert Brooks, takes a shot at anchoring the news, but his overactive sweat glands steal the spotlight. If you're struggling with excessive sweating, you may have a condition known as hyperhidrosis. Dermatologist Dr. Lisa Hitchens is here with a new product that could really help. Hi there. Hi, how are you? There was a time when I would, was anchoring the news that I would sweat so much and I couldn't figure out why, but I would wad up paper towels right before I sat down on the desk and shove them under my arms. Right. And there was nothing that would work. What causes it? So mainly our sweating is there to cool us off. And so when you go out for a run or it's a hot day, that sweat helps to cool us off. But there's sweating that is there when we get nervous. Mm -hmm. There's sweating that is there when we eat a hot, spicy food. You may see your friend across the Mexican food table getting a little pizza yeah, right. across the thing. <laughs> but this is when it, it interrupts our life. It's socially unacceptable. And so many people suffer with it that they don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. Yeah. And so that's when we come in and we try to use these products to help stop the yeah. sweating. All right. So Ralph, who works with us, um, it's like, Every now and then we know yeah, this. No, raise I've your, been, raise I've your been arm. Yeah. This, yeah. So, you know, right. I've been dealing with go. this for a long time. Can you see there? Okay, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. And, and so and it sounds like you're my new best friend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I should have worked my biceps right. before this segment. So what he did share with us before yeah. is that he puts on an extra layer just to be able an to yeah. uh, soak in some of that. And yeah. you don't and raise your arms, right? Like I would right. never raise my arms. No. I would I would sit there at the news like this and, and have you ever shared that with anybody here? No, I have not. I'm glad I'm doing it on TV. But I will, I will say is it is exactly what you said. It's during uh, pressure situations. That's when you get close to me, Ralph. It is. It's That's like, what it seems to happen. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But there's pressure in this TV game, even behind the scenes, or when I have to speak in front of people. Right. That's when I notice it. Right, right. Yeah. All so, right. Get back you. to work, Ralph. Yeah. He's our floor director, by the way. You're on the, okay. you're on the clock. So... It's something that people don't want to talk about, and you've worked with him forever, and you've mm -hmm. never, you may have noticed it, yeah. but you're not going to bring it well, up. Well, and I know because I've, I've been through it, right. but mine just went away on right. its own. I, I, I don't know why it happened, or it just went away on its right. own, but for some people, it, it does interrupt right. their life. You're giving a sales presentation, and all people can focus on is, is the sweat, right? right? Or they're keeping their hands underneath the table, and they're waiting until that time they have to shake somebody's hand so they can do this really quick and then grab their hand. Right, right. A lot of patients don't come to me for this problem, but I'll see it at the end of the visit, maybe when I shake their hand at the beginning and then I think my way through of how I'm going to approach it and when I do approach it it's a game changer yeah, for them. Yeah. I have actually I mean, just changed lives. We know that uh, Botox has been used, right? right? Effective mm -hmm. or no? Right. Botox is very effective. My, uh, she's 23 now. She does the same thing, and she will just she's ruined so many clothes. So yeah. it'll keep you dry for six months. Okay. It's expensive. It's not covered by insurance. It's a little discomfort, but it works. Yeah. But that's something that not everybody has the ability to go into. But now we have this product. For years, there's been a pill, and the pill it's an old pill. It's a it's a generic drug that I can give you, and I can stop you from sweating. It's been my magic pill to give patients, and no one knew it was available. I'm not real sure why not a lot of patients get right. a hold of it, uh, but it does have side effects because it's an anticholinergic. It can kind of slow you down from sweating. And the last thing I want you to do is not be able to cool yourself Especially off. Especially in Houston, right? Right. right. Yeah. And so there's a, you know, a, a magic number that we give of how much dose we give. And people do well with it, but a lot of people have this stigma of not wanting to take a pill. Right. So this is the same medication that the pill is. It's called Cuprexa. It's a brand new medicine. It just hit the market October 1st, but it's the same active ingredient that's in the pill. Brilliant. And so what it does, you just you wipe it on. You wipe it on. It's just a little packet, if I can show you. It's just okay. a little packet. And, Ralph? you know, <laughs> come on, Ralph. But, uh, the FDA has approved it just for your underarms, but dermatologists are very big on doing what we call off-label use. Right. And so we'll be using it. People tend to sweat. Just to, It's just like, you know, when you get the greasy barbecue, it's the same type of little wipe. You take it, you wipe once. You wipe once. Now, does it stop you the pressure sweating, or does it stop the, the, the moisture from coming out? No, onto it, this is again a product that goes in and tells that sweat gland to shut down. Wow. Okay, it seriously, shuts Ralph, down take this. Sweat <laughs> yes, I can take yeah, the yeah, box. It's, it's open now. Yes, yeah, so there so, you go. <laughs> it will stop you. So our PA uh, in our office, she goes to the Orange Theory a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot. And she sweats all over, which is appropriate. You're supposed to sweat right. like that. But she applied it under her arms before she went in. When she came out, she was sweaty just like normal. Her clothes were soaked. Her Except armpits for under her were arms. dry. Yeah. I mean, what a game changer. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, all right. And it's nice that you just wipe thing. it on. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Um, hey, since it is Breast Cancer Awareness okay. Month and you have your, your pink on pink the whole bit, we cancer. talked a little bit about it earlier, but uh, there are certain, uh, are several places where, where women can end up getting kind of a diagnosis or at least told something's going on there. Right. And the dermatologist's office, there are times when you see things. Right, exactly. So there is a such a, a, a 
a disease called inflammatory breast mm -hmm. cancer. And that's when you get on one side of the breast, it tends to get hot. Uh, there'll be kind of a dry rash, kind of a thickened skin on top. And patients come to us yeah. for that. And you was turning red. Turning like red and skin angry. Turns red for a and reason. angry. Yeah. Now, I will tell you that oftentimes it may be something like eczema or, you know, a cyst, something that's infected. But there was a, a case that uh, happened a couple of years ago that it was a friend of mine. She mm -hmm. came in with a rash on her breast. I looked at it and I knew it was different, so we biopsied it. The biopsy came back as a type of cancer called cutaneous T cell lymphoma which is rare, which it was not associated with breast cancer, but the first place she was sent was MD Anderson. Mm -hmm. In that workup for Q uh, CTCL, she was diagnosed with her breast cancer. Wow. And she's a survivor. All right, now moving on to skin cancer. I, you know, we have a little cool front that came in and a lot of us have a tendency to forget about the whole sunscreen and all that stuff. We think the winter time, it's much safer, right. but still keep up that kind of protocol for your skin. People, we live in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get winter in Texas. Yeah. So yes, every day you should wear skin, some sun protection every day. Uh, I know that I have touched a life when I have a man that comes back by the office to pick up sunscreen because he ran out. Because men just, they're hard, right? Yeah. But sunscreen now, they have the type that, you know, it goes on very easy in the morning. It has the zinc oxide or the titanium dioxide that's going to physically block you from the sun. Those sun rays are out there. The sun rays are out there in the winter, in the spring, in the summer. The UV rays are different, we yeah. understand that. But we all are, you know, walking from here to the car. We all get those UV rays, so I don't want you to think of when I'm going to be on the sun. Just know that you're going to be As in the sun. As part of your daily routine. Daily routine. Okay, you know Every how to get morning. people to do it, though, At don't you? You know how to get women to do it, to, to wear the sunscreen. Oh, you have a trick? Yeah, I have a trick. Oh, okay, so know. you don't say, wear sunscreen so you don't get skin cancer. You say, wear sunscreen so you don't wrinkle. <laughs> Look good. Yeah, we're in now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Dr. Lisa Hitchens, thank you very much. You're very welcome. And thank for more you. information about Dr. Hitchens or Cubrexa, log on to greatdayhouston.com.